Hello, my name is Cameron Trago. I'm here to teach you Sleep Me on the Fire. I'm mostly the guitar solo, but that's about it. Now this is good. Now this song, you're going to need a whammy bar and a kill switch. The reason why you need a whammy bar is mostly because of the solo, but eh, fuck that. You don't have to. I've showed you another way, but this is the true full-blooded way. I figured out how to do it on my fender, mostly by taking out one of the springs in the back, but fuck. I mean, springs don't work and all, I just figured, what the hell. So I'm going to try. The song, you mostly learn, but this is how you play the solo. What he does is he turns his guitar up to a high distortion. So instead of having it be a normal comfort... It's a so it's very high distorted. There's no wah pedal. There's no nothing. It's just the guitar and the distortion. That's it. I don't care what anybody says. It's just the guitar and the distortion. I mean, I've learned how to do this, and it's a lot easier. I mean, I knew how to do it before, but not really on Fender's type of type of whammy bars. It mostly goes down, but I figured how to make it go up. You, this kind of ruins the guitar a bit, but this is just for a demonstration note. What you do is you get really close by the amp, and you just simply take it, step a little farther back, so you get about that nice. Mostly it's him taking his hand with his right hand, doing the rally bar, and with his left hand controlling the whammy bar, simply. The reason why it's not happening is I'm not getting good enough feedback. And it's not loud enough. That's that's basically it. That's basically it. The reason why I'm so loud is because I've I've gone deaf and my neighbors are about to kick my ass right now. And my parents and everyone who lives in a five mile radius because even though this amp is about the size of a small TV, it gets very loud, so have fun with that. Damn it, how do you turn this thing?